everybody. This is Grace. Pardon if my um, camera falls. It, it's. I need to get a new one. Uh, hopefully today will be my first uh, outing shopping in what over 16 months. Yeah. And I've been to drive-throughs. I've been to Insta store that I had to go to get my, uh, you know, mine done twice. You know, like it is. And um, I'm trying to avoid saying certain words. And uh, I think the second time I was in there, uh, well, the first time Adam was with me and said, "Pick, see that right over there? Get me one of those. <laughs> second time I went through the um, checkout with him. But to go, actually just go shopping one time. I, I think I've mentioned that probably more than once. And um, anyway, so today we're going to go. We have our, our dog. He was in a... Um, we had him, uh, I nicknamed him Mayhem when he was a puppy, I think the first day. Um, we had him at a, uh, a place, you know, a kennel, but it's, it's a nice one. And um, we got him out, I'm thinking, oh, maybe a week ago. And he was only in, the, we, did, we didn't leave him in there the whole time. He, I think it was Saturday, actually, that we were supposed to pick him up, but we got him Friday. And today is Thursday, so. But we had a, uh, he had some, like uh, we don't know what it is yet. We took him to the vet, at, well Adam did, and drop, you know, for the drop-in, and um, they said they changed their way to do it. That's what Adam told me that you have to leave them there, and they'll call them when do you pick them up, um, you know. So when the vet can fit them in during the day, she will. So I guess that's what they do. He, his his explanation was weird, but anyway, um, so we called him later and said, "Why don't you, since he's already there, just keep him for the night?" You know, you know, when when you keep him for the night and everything, they they'll do a little extra, like you know, sometimes give him a, a bath. And uh, he had a bath when he got you know Saturday and Friday when we picked him up. They they bathed him beforehand. And anything that he needs to do, they're going to do. Yeah, but we think that he has allergies. That's what we're thinking. And uh, so anyway, we have him there. So Adam and I are going to go um, together. We had already decided we were going to do this, go together to, to, to Tuesday morning and buy a few things that we need. This will be my first outing. And boy, this feels like deja vu that I'm saying this. I've been having that experience lately. Deja vu so many times. And um, that of weird coincidences, like I'm thinking of something I haven't thought of, and you don't need to be driving so fast. Um, you know, uh, you know something I'm thinking about I haven't thought in a long time, and boom, it happens. There's just weird coincidences like that. You know, it comes up on TV or something. You know, <laughs> it's weird. A lot of those things lately. But anyway, like I said, we're gonna go shopping too. Whoa, my car's driving for me. It does that program to do that but in any little curve if I'm not perfectly in the middle it'll put me in the middle of the lines on, on curves I'm serious so and it also gets ticked off if I'm like changing lanes and don't have my blinker on it gets ticked off the beep 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 me and uh the first what well, since I'm on the subject might as well go with flow but the first time it did that I, you know I bought it new and the first time it did that, I wasn't ready for it. And I was going around a curve that, that, that used to be called Dead Man's Curve. And it's, it's really a wild curve. But they fixed it, they redid it, but it's still, you know, it's not as bad, but, and it took over. And I, knowing that I was going through Dead Man's tr Curve, <laughs> it took over, imagine it. <laughs> Dead Man's Curve, and my car, my SUV starts driving for me. It was weird. It was wicked. And it still gets me, still. I've had it for, uh, well, let's see, a year and a half. Bought it new. And, well, no, it's over a year and a half. It's two and a half years. I bought it in two, May 2019. And really, it, uh, let's see, let me check. It doesn't even have 4,000 miles on it. Seriously. Because of everything going on, I wasn't one to go out. And oh my goodness, what's going on here? I guess I'll get to sit and chit-chat for a little bit and fix this. Watch it go fall, 
nope, it didn't fall. But, um, anyway, what was I talking about to start off with? Yeah, that we were going to go shopping and get some things that we really need. And, uh, because I'm tired of trying to order online and getting whatever. But some of the stuff I need are pots and, pots and pans. So I'm going to go Tuesday morning. I don't want to go into any big, huge store. You know, it's my first out, that kind of outing. And anyway, this one I'm going here to, uh, I, I've been through drive-thru and that's where I'm going is the drive-thru, so. Okay, for there, for a minute there, I, more than a minute, forgot what topic I wanted to talk about, but what I want to talk about is when, have you ever felt like you, you put the, um, weight of the world on your shoulders, and then you go in through this, this really big debate with yourself on is it, what way should you see it? And when, you know, overall at first, you know, you, you say, no, I'm doing this right. But as time has gone by, you say, well, no, you know, in, the, in between maybe, it could be years. And, but at some, you know, at some points you would say something like, you know, no, I'm not exaggerating. I didn't, you know, I should do this this way. Or I'm not, you know, or I shouldn't, <laughs> whatever is the case. You know, whichever, you go back and forth, in other words. You know, second and guessing yourself, and on and on. And it could be that it's just that, um, you know that either way, it's, it's not good, it's not good for you or not good for anybody else. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, this car looked like it was going to keep going. So, I'm going to go get some chicken, and, uh, But I, I've been doing, I've done that. Uh -uh. Well, hold on. Okay, I had to stop and put my mask on while I was at that drive through I always do. I put it on before I go to the drive through um, So, anyway. Um, where was I? <laughs> but yeah, putting the world on my shoulders. I have done that so many. I, this is probably the, pardon, you couldn't hear all that probably. But this is probably the the biggest time, of course it would be the biggest time that I've ever done this, well, pretty much. And that is, um, you know, when 2020, we had all those at first, you know, where I live in Texas, I can't remember exactly when it happened, but we were, we couldn't go out for anything but essentials, and it was only essential workers, and I don't think we were the only place that that happened. But, uh, anyway, and you know, mask mandates and stuff like that. But, but when we when I first started hearing about that, I had been shopping. I had been, uh, I used to do videos like at Dollar Tree, because that was the first thing I knew on my original channel, which was seven years ago, last year, I started making videos. And they're mainly shopping videos. And I, the first thing I saw was Dollar Tree videos. I said, well, I can do that. <laughs> I didn't even know it. I just thought, just thought YouTube was only for, um, uh, what is that? Sorry about that. It was only for like how tos and music. Seriously, that's all I thought it was before then. And anyway, so I started making the you know shopping videos, and it was fun to me. I wasn't really all that much of a fan of Dollar Tree before then, but it, it became fun, and it is. It was kind of like relaxing and, and all that. But when twenty early twenty twenty, when I was like. I am not going to, you know, the videos I had made right before that, I, I never made public. I uploaded them, but I never made them public, public because I, I put the world on my shoulder, you know, the sake of the world on my shoulder. What is the expression? The f fate of the world on my shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where'd I get sake from? Who knows? Uh, but, but at the same time, I debate myself. Did I really, you know, it was kind of like, I don't want to encourage anybody to go out shopping. And they see my videos and they say, well, I'm going to go out shopping. Because I didn't. I stopped shopping, go out, going out shopping. Like I was saying earlier. You know, and in other videos. So, I was having them delivered. And, you know, I wasn't in, wanting to encourage anybody. Well, eventually this year, you know, once they had all the, you know, people could go and get theirs done. Uh twice or once whatever it was the case and uh 
pet food, whichever what they got. And I don't remember, I mean, at some point I started doing videos at home with the stuff that was de delivered or we picked it up. Now, I didn't do it before then. <laughs> so, you know, like groceries and such. And uh, I don't know. But um, eventually, oh, my car's driving for me. My SUV's driving for me again. It doesn't like these little things over here is what it is. <laughs> those little, what do they call those? What do they call those? I don't know. But anyway, so, um, so now that, you know, I'm going to go out, start going out because I still feel like, you know, um, there are some people out there who don't want to and, but is, but, you know, it's stopping me, but at the same time, I, this is what, like I say, I'm, I'm going back and forth, riding, you know, going back and forth on this, like a, um, the name of it. <laughs> my goodness. I didn't have my appropriate caffeine this morning. But, uh, I wish I could remember the name of that. Seesaw. There it is. <laughs> Up and down. <laughs> but anyway, when do I use the word see seesaw? The term seesaw. Anyway, um, you know, I feel like I, I don't want to encourage anybody to go shopping, you know. But at the same time, they're going to do whatever they want to do anyway. And see how, see how I say it? And then I say, well, if I didn't put it in the video, they might not have been encouraged if they watch it, you know? You, and I put the world, the fate of the world on my shoulders. You know, it's, you know, it's all what I do. But, you know, at, at some point, I have to stop doing that because you know, I had put up so many videos, and not that original one, but another one, about my views on that and... Um, you know, how could people do that? And, you know, I'm a, I'm an independent, by the way, independent. I am not right. I'm not left. I'm independent of those, all that. I made up my own mind. And, uh, I just couldn't see why this would be such a, I mean, I understand there's, you know, the different sides and all, but I just can't see it as being, a, you know, an issue. It's medical. And that's how I see it. I've seen it. It's medical. Nothing more medical. And, uh, anyway. So, I still didn't want to encourage anybody. And now, with what's going on now, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, I mean, I'm taking my own chance in that. And I think everybody, any adult, my channel's only for adults. Uh, that, that's their, that's their, um, what they're going to do, they're going to do anyway. They're going to do it or not do it. And, you know, they, they know to be safe and they know, you know, all that. But I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to go shopping today uh, at Tuesday morning. You know, when Adam, he works from home. When he, he gets off work from home, <laughs> we're going to go. And I'm debating if I'm going to do videos because I loved doing those. They were so calming unbelievably calming for me and I have panic disorder and I have an adrenal disorder that causes me a lot of problems so we'll see I'll talk to you on another video bye. okay yeah that was a fast ending to the video but I was right there next to a school zone and I wasn't sure what time it was so, so you can't use cell phones in the school zone but yeah it was not the time for that so I was okay but um Anyway, like, you know, you can say weight of, weight of the world on your shoulders or the fate of the world on your shoulders. What's the other ones people use? I don't remember. I think I used both of them in this video. But yeah, I, that's what I do. And, you know, and then at different points in, during this year and a half, I would tell myself they're doing it anyway. And then, I, like I said, I'd go back and bounce back, and back to the other one and say, yeah, but if I didn't show this video, if I wouldn't put the video up, you see, but they're going to do it anyway, <laughs> so well, they'll find somebody else that puts one up, and so I, I got to think about it, but I'm going to go in there today, I do have some, like I said, those videos, I had uploaded them, but never made them public on my original channel, and uh, I might do them as a retro, <laughs> retro 2020, <laughs> I wonder how places like Dollar Tree has changed, see, 
I went into one because I had dropped Adam off at a, 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 ho a hospital. He had a follow-up. He had been in the hospital, and I had to just stay out, and you know, with everything going on earlier this year. And uh, yeah, I went one place to go to the restroom, and another one was a Dollar Tree, which I wish I hadn't gone to. It was horrible. It's right after the Texas terrible Texas winter storms, and there were things in there that were kind of wet, and people were it was too tight. And it seemed like a lot of people wanted to go out shopping. Now, the one I usually go to is huge. I mean, it's the inside, the shelving, the aisles, you know, they're shaped like a, a tree. Like a tree. <laughs> or they used to be. Now I wonder, will they still be? But I'm going to pl I'm planning on going into one of those. And uh, to that one. To that one. The nice one. It's nice, too. It's, it's always clean. And I've never had any kind of you know, problem with it being dirty or anything. And then there's a 99 cent store not too far from here. But, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, and, and uh, well, see, there's some things you just can't talk about. And that's, this stuff affects my life so much. <laughs> I mean, so much. Since my adrenal disorder, I had to stay home, all, you know, all this time. Pretty, you know, hardly ever, like I said, maybe 10 times I had to go into different places, like the doctor's office, I did it once, and to the pharmacist three times, and then those two I just mentioned, and I think two other times I had to go into the store all year, you know, a year and a half around that. Anyway, that's enough. Talk to y'all in another video. Bye.